Hello, I'm Paul Garrett from Voice Software. I've got a short video here where I'm going to show you how to use the external lookup data transformation in Task Center. Let's just look at a scenario first of, of where this might be used. In this example I've got here, I've got two systems um, passing order data between them, the Task Center sat in between um, taking the data from one and passing it into the other. It doesn't really matter how it's getting the data from system A, um, the, the transformation applies in any case. Now, Task Center can pass that data in and it can take an order ID from the first system, say order ID 1, 2, 3, pass that into the other system, system B. But in system B, the system automatically generates an order ID, which is a different format to system A. And that's not a problem at that stage. So to help us, what we'll do is store order ID 123 in a field in system B. There are usually spare fields available on, on orders or, or, or other data that, where you can store additional references. We'll, we'll put this additional cross-reference 123 in that order. Now, let's just suppose an order change comes through from system A and we know the order ID 123 and we'd like to pass it into system B but we don't know the order ID. So what we need to do is use the external lookup transformation to look up 123 directly in the database of system B and return the order ID from system B 8334 and then pass that reference in with the change so that it can make the change to the correct record. Now I'll show you how I do that directly in Task Center. Here I have a task which I've constructed previously and you can see that it's got a schedule step and then an XML document import step which is read an XML document on, on disk. This is an XML document being created out of System A so its output um, as part of one of its internal processes, this XML document. I've then got a web service connector step which is going to process that document into system B and then finally I've got a little step to move the file that, that it's processed. So I'll just open the web service connector step up and you see it's, it's performing my sales order web service against the change sales order operation. Now if I look at the mapping on here the order number is mapped into the cross-reference field, but I need to perform a data transformation to look up the order ID, because I don't know the order ID of the order that I want to update. So I'll add an external lookup onto the planner, and I'll map into that the order number from system A against the order ID from system B. Those two pieces of data now don't match, so I've got to configure the external lookup transformation. I'll choose a data source, which will be my connection to system B, and I'll choose the data object I want to get this data from. It's from the order header that this data is contained. So I'll just right click, select this data object, and then I'll go into the columns and I'll map the input to the cross-reference and map the output from this to the order ID so I get the order ID back for a, for a cross-reference passed in which is the the data from system A. Now if I just look at the query for this then you can see that it's executing a SQL query against that database and if I press the test on that I can enter an order, and I know there's an order in there called C000123. I execute that, and it comes back with an order ID S456. And if I just look in my table, I see C123 maps to S456. So now, this task will now take multiple order numbers from this XML input, look the data up in an external lookup, and pass them into this service with the correct order ID. I hope that helps. Thanks very much.